Okay, I'm trying to keep on top of my um, my videos for today. So I just got out of a session a few moments ago called Grinning the Military. And it was presented mostly by the um, either the Army or the Army Corps of Engineers. And they case studied a few bases. Not only they call them bases. Let's go with installations throughout the... Um, throughout the region that have really pioneered sustainability on, um, on, on board. So uh, they talked about uh, Fort Carson, they talked about uh, Fort Campbell, I think, and um, these really cool initiatives. So one is focusing on net zero waste. So they, it is their goal to put absolutely nothing in the landfill at all, like anywhere. So we're talking not just their construction and demolition waste, we're also talking about their um, their organic waste at their dining facilities, uh, the package waste at their commissaries, the waste that's actually um, uh, created through their their military families in, in their housing. And uh, it's a pretty lofty goal, so they've implemented some cool strategies. They have what's called a pay-as-you-throw program, so if you throw away a whole bunch of stuff, you pay more. So um, they actually have a sliding scale of um, trash can sizes, so if you have a very small trash can, you pay less. If you need a really big trash can, you pay more. Um, one of the most interesting things that I heard them say, uh, which I was, oh, I almost called, called them out on it, they said that all of their buildings now have to be LEED certified. They're no longer just LEED certifiable, which um, is contrary to some of the RFPs that we still see out on the street, especially through the Army Corps of Engineers, saying that they're doing self-certification. So um, I plan to follow up with the speaker and impress that issue a little bit further. I thought it would be more appropriate on an individual basis, but um, looks like they're really doing good things ultimately, um, either certified, certifiable, or what have you. Lastly, um, they have a program now to uh, use the military facilities as um, as test beds for new technologies. So what better place to test your technology than um, uh, an owner that has 300,000 buildings in every different climate, in every different part of the world, and every different building type. So um, if you're going to try out solar thermal domestic hot water, do it with the DOD, put it on you know, 100 different facilities throughout the world, and see how it actually works and how it actually performs. So kudos to the Army for stepping up and being a place where we can test out these technologies, and uh, I hope to hear more from our local facilities. Thanks a lot. Bye.